All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is day four into five, I guess. Nothing really happened on day four. We just kind of monitored everything. Uh, unfortunately, the female half moon beta that was originally in there, something was wrong with it. So we took it died and we took it back and we exchanged it. So the new one's been in here and it's perfectly fine now. Just think that that one was sick or something. So we got it out of the tank. As soon as we noticed it, it was going to the bottom and died. But everybody else is happy in there. As you can see, there's the new one. All the colors on the fish are uh, nice and vibrant again because we started feeding them. Uh, a little extra food to get the nitrogen cycle and the ammonia cycle and everything in there started for all the bacteria. So a little extra pinch of food here and there and some treats. But they're all happy. The beta likes going inside this artificial log here. And in the top, we insert some food into that hole so that she knows to go in there at nighttime and she gets a little snack. Um, no fighting with any of the other fish. Swimming around happy. As you can see, we do have some uh, fungus mold growth on the wood there. But that's nothing to be concerned of. It does not hurt the fish. Uh, and that comes just naturally from the driftwood, uh, from it not being, we didn't boil those two pieces because we did want to start the bacteria cycle uh, very quickly. But there's eight of these neon tetras in there and four catfish down below and they're all happy. They're swimming everywhere. Temperature's about 75 all the time in the water. So they're good. Up top here, we got some stuff growing. Sweet basil, dwarf gray sugar peas, um, California wonder peppers, and strawberries. So everything's rooted in already. If you can see, the roots are already sticking down into the water, so that's good. And we just keep the light on, you know, during the day, like normal sun, turn it off at night, turn the fish light off at night. And everything's filtering up here. The basil's doing fine. Uh, the dwarf peas look like they're about to pop through the shell, so in the next day or two it'll probably sprout. Uh, I'm not sure about the peppers yet, because uh, we, we did not germinate them. We threw them straight into the substrate here, because we figured it's got enough of the nutrients coming already from the fish waste and everything. So, no need to sit there and try and germinate them. But yeah, other than that, the tank's doing really well. It cleared up a lot. The water was murky, but it's doing a lot better now. And all the fish are happy. So we'll keep updating you and we'll hopefully see the rest of these plants pop through. Thanks for watching.